Well, joining us now is Daniel Katzi, BNP Paribas head of FX Strategy. The UK money market is now completely pricing out a Bank of England rate hike for 2018. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Well, we think that's probably a little bit too pessimistic. I mean, if the data comes back a little bit, you'll see that pricing get rebuilt very quickly. But as you know, as, as David said, this is one of the most uh, data-dependent central banks in the G10 right now, in the sense that you know the market was fully priced for a hike just a few weeks ago. The data didn't bear that out; had to unwind it. The data starts to pick up again, and the two hawks on the committee are, are proved correct that this was a weather-related slowing, then um, you need to reprice very quickly in the other direction. It seemed like going into this decision, the question was, is it going to be 9-0, 6-3, or 7-2? Mm. Are you surprised it came out of 7-2? Well, we were thinking 9-0. I mean, 7-2 is interesting because it shows that, at least for the hawks, they really can look through the softness in GDP in Q1 and, and view that as temporary. At least for them, uh, it, you know, they're, they're comfortable continuing tightening. Uh, so I think that, you know, it is a, a sign that at least for the hawkish members of the committee, uh, its business, you know, goes on as, as, as it was going on. What's their credibility? Uh, credibility is good in the sense that, you know, you... Really think you, the BOE's credibility is okay? I mean, they responded to uh, new information and uh, they changed course. You know, it's, it's a very different position from where the Fed is right now, where the Fed, you know, has a tightening program in place. And if, uh, as long as the data meets minimum criteria, they're going to uh, continue. ECB is in a different place as well. They're on hold for a long time. They don't need to tell the market anything uh, for a few months. Uh, but uh, Bank of England really is you know, right on the cusp of uh, you know, either needing to continue or pause. So you've got to expect them to be very dynamic in their, in their, in their messages.